Here's one for you. What do you get when you cross the very latest features in Adobe Firefly with the very latest features in Adobe Photoshop Beta? You get AI Creative Heaven. Let's take a look at some of the brand new features in play. We'll start by opening up the Creative Cloud app by going into our apps, scrolling on the very top here, choosing Beta, which gives a list of all the uh, current updated versions or updating versions of the applications. I'm looking for Photoshop Beta. I'm gonna click Open. In your case, if it isn't installed, it will say Install. So you can click on it and follow the prompts. And once it's installed, we're gonna to go to New File at the very top here on the left. We're gonna choose from our new document. We're gonna to go to Web. I'm going to untick artboard and put in the highest quality we can have for our slides, which is 2048 pixels. So we'll make a square version of that. Come down and click Create. And down the very bottom, you'll see we have the contextual taskbar with the generate image in it. If you don't see it, go to Window, come all the way down to the pretty much the bottom. Creative taskbar will be there. You can also access the generated image if you go over to the toolbar on the bottom or go to Edit and down to Generate Image. I'm going to use the contextual taskbar, so I'm going to click on it and open it up. And we'll get to see, if anybody that is familiar with Firefly, we'll be recognizing this uh, right out of the box. For Photoshop, it's brand new to us. All these options here as I scroll down through are Firefly generated prompted images. If I click on any one of them, you'll see it gives me a list of prompts available over here. And it gives you a good taste of the type of things you would have to type in when you want to put in your textual commands to get it to create the generative image from its selections. So we're gonna paste in our own prompt here of a tiger walking down a city street, as you do. And today we're gonna concentrate on art, the illustration side of things rather than photo. We're gonna do a follow-up video on photos, but on this occasion, we're staying with the illustrative side of things. We can upload a reference video should we need to. So if we have an external image we wanna compare against colors or style, or we can use the preset images that are given to us by Firefly as well. They are all about giving styles and textures rather than copying something from the photograph. I can also apply effects, multiple effects within this um, process. I can scroll on down, multiple choices. We'll cover these in detail as we go through the various examples. But for now, I really just wanna concentrate on getting the prompt doing its due. I uh, have my prompt, I'm gonna leave it in art form and I'm clicking generate. It'll take a few moments for the process to generate its first image and you'll see over on the right hand side it's creating three examples or getting three examples ready for me. And there you go, in a click of a button folks, we get these really, really usable, beautiful color toned images here. I could, if I don't like them, I could re-click again and it's gonna generate another three that I could possibly use as options. Uh, we do get stuck for a bit of space here in this, so I'm just going to float off the properties panel here and just extend it, yeah. So plenty of room for it to be able to do what it needs to. I'm going to go up here to my uh, prompt, just going to add in a little bit more information in there, a coloured version, just to see if we can introduce more styles in it. Click Generate. And we get, again, a very usable image in a click of a button. It's fantastic what it can do. I mean, the quality of the colours are absolutely amazing, and it's great that it's doing so much of the hard legwork for us in getting it right. I can go down here to my effects, I can add more and change and tweak what we have. So if I just click on some random ones here, let's click and see what we get. Some more cartoony kind of vibe to it, I like it. Some I don't like, I'll just delete them out by clicking on the little bin symbol on the bottom here. Okay, so back to this, let's see what else we put in effects wise here. Drop it down from the list here and I'm going to choose on this occasion and we'll add in this one here. Click generate, lovely. If I want to add or delete out, I could just go back into the effects, click, unclick, change the effects, give it a different texture, so you'll see how instantly this changes, but keeps the style, but change it to a more moody, more colourful style within our play. If I go up here again, change the effects out, click generate. This is almost photorealistic, even though it's a, an illustration of what we have here. Love the fisheye lens effect there, especially with the paw coming to the front. Just going to change out some of these effects here. Click Generate. So I like those, nice, very photorealistic, even though they're illustrations. I'm going to clear all those, kind of going back to a normal palette here. Let's have a look down here where we can apply and generate one more time. And we get this lovely painted effect, very textured, lovely style here. I really like this one. 
if I want to upload an image, I was talking about this earlier on, I can go to my choose image here. I can take one from the Firefly examples, or I can navigate to an existing one that I have. Just a normal picture of a tiger, and I upload it, and it takes the reference from it. It doesn't take a recording of the tiger, it just takes the colour and the tone and the vibe of what's going in the photograph and applies it, and we get a really natural uh, style and vibe within our design. I'm going to clear all of those. Let's have a, one or two last ones. Click into this one. This is kind of making it kind of futuristic here. Clicking on the options. And we get a very, yeah, right, very interesting kind of style of design here. I click, I'll refine that. Let's say I want to change the coloring there. So put in, say, a blue tone to it. Okay, and we click on generate. And yeah, we can see that the color is now desaturated out of it. We're left with this blue hue to it. The warmth has been removed, and I think it leaves a lovely cold modern science fiction effect on the image itself. So I'm going to leave it there, folks. I think we've covered quite a lot in relation to how the Firefly can integrate nicely into the Photoshop beta, and we can look forward to it being rolled out in hopefully the next edition of Photoshop. Until then, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. <laughs>